just said goodbye to never ride home for the last time. Feeling really sad, I can't lie. I'm gonna miss everyone so much. I wish I could all take them all with me, but I guess that's just life in the yachting industry. Like, I don't know. That's what I keep telling myself. That's what this industry is, so I have to, I have to be okay with it. It is five to eight on Sunday morning, the 16th of May, 2021. I just had the best shower ever because I know I'm not going to be able to shower for a while. I love you guys and I'll chat to you soon. <laughs>first week of sailing was very interesting. The water was calm, the wind was behind us and the freezing waters kept us quite chilly. It felt like I had no idea what was going on 75% of the time. I had so much to learn and I couldn't wait to learn it all. First, yeah, that's it. You don't hold it too long. This ship? Yeah. Okay, press AI starter, and you'll get all that. But it's seven minutes quite far. Yeah, seven. Do you think we'll, oh, is that him? No, like see? the little white. That As you can see, there's literally nothing around us. Just us and water. He's prepping the lines. So on the end, yeah, it's on a bow line. And then add that on the end. And we catch. The boys are filling in the diesel. Oh my god! Oh, that's so cool! It's funny because just over a year ago, I started feeling a deep urge to live by the ocean. I wanted to be able to go to the beach and swim whenever I felt like it, but I didn't see any way that would be possible for a few years.
Now, in a crazy twist of fate, I find myself living on the ocean. Seriously, God more than answered that prayer. And I am so incredibly grateful for this wonderful, beautiful life he has blessed me with. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future.